Hello, 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 and welcome back to These Doomed Isles. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and I have discovered something through many trials and errors of playing this game, trying to record the next episode, and the discovery that I made, I hate this guy. I hate him, okay? With a fiery passion, Plutus can get in the bin immediately. It's so difficult because he starts off with mud houses, and every time you place a mud house, your people get unhappy. 5% less happy and then they leave you and you have nobody and you are just struggling with your one little character left and it's not a good time. That's what I've discovered. So what we're going to do is we're going to bash through this really easy just level three because I've been trying level four ascension which is obviously more difficult. Lots of things causes people unhappiness uh, but Plutus already makes us unhappy. So we're going to go back to level three. That should be a little bit easier. We will even go to brutal just to you know add some level of challenge to this. 10 years to complete our run. I think we can do it. Although I do hate Plutus, but let the games begin. All right, let's go for the M Psychos. This one, eight damage to enemies adjacent or diagonal to our statues. We've got to happiness is what we need to be focusing on. Oh my gosh. It's like this game is actually taunting me. Build a seven statues, which actually goes very well with the God power we just chose and have 45 cards in our deck. They feel doable, but the happiness one is going to be the hardest one, I'm pretty sure. Because every time we place a mud hut, you will get minus 5% happiness. There, I mean, look, it's already in the bin. It's already in the bin. All right, let's go with that. Let's take a look at the space we have. We've got trees up there. We've got ruins over here. Tiny little islands kind of dotted around. It feels like a lot of small ones. It's kind of an interesting one this time. So we'll have to see how that goes. We can get straight up though to these trees, which does excite me because that way, hopefully we can start to forest these, deforest them, forest them. We'll start to get rid of them soon. All right, let's see if we can redraw though. We do need the research library to go in. Got it this time. So we'll stick that in over here. That means our workers can go. We need another house. I mean, our happiness is already going in the bin, but at least our workers are in there now. Could also put some more land down. If we connect to these small islands, we're probably going to get attacked, which we can't deal with at the moment. So I think we need to try to make our way over to these ruins. So we're gonna stick that in there and we'll try to head across and down. All right, let's head to our first harvest. I don't want mud houses, really. I mean, ideally, if we could avoid mud houses, that would be great because that minus 5% happiness is what gets me every time. A farm though and a fishing platform would be very good. The logging camp is not a terrible idea, so we can start getting wood. Although I don't know if logging camp is the best one we can get. It wasn't in the other one, but maybe it is here. Taxation is very good. Gain two gold per follower. And as long as you don't use it twice, it's you don't have to worry about the minus 5%, I don't think. So let's do that. Big land, look at that. It's a four by four chunk of land. That's insane. Let's get that for sure. Don't know what to do about these mud houses though. I'm just gonna skip them. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Now we need to worry about happiness, statues, and 45 cards. So ideally buying lots of cards is good. Don't want to spend all of our money though. There's a temple here though. 150 food storage and double your current food. Seems good. Don't need it though. I don't think. Plus 20 stone, which we don't even have. So let's leave that like that. Hopefully we've got a few good things to help us here. I mean, farm being one of them. I want to put this big land in. That's a huge amount of land. Let's stick that in and we can do some farming over on this piece that we've just put in. And then I think we just need to move some workers around. So let's take two out of the research library and put them into the farm. Although, do we need to do that in the autumn? I, I have no idea. Tax them this time. That gives us a bit of money and keeps us going for a bit longer. We did buy one of the logging camps, so I guess we could stick that in. If we put it here, six to 16 wood. Here is five to 15 wood. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll just put it in there. We'll put one person in there, so we've got that extra worker getting us some wood. Six wood per turn, and we'll end our turn there and head into the winter. A bit of land to connect over here would be good. Then we can explore our first ruins. And what do we have? As you delve into the dark recess, the ruins, you see a glimmer in the darkness. It's a bit of gold. Do we take the gold and run or delve deeper? We delve deeper. We always delve deeper. Uh oh, dead end. You realize you've reached the depths of the ruins. There's nothing more to be found. Harvest Festival gained two food per follower whenever you build a farm, windmill, or bakery. That seems nice, although I just put the farm already in, but that's okay. We will have a nice harvest festival whenever we put more food in. Also, I have a fishing platform we could put in. I'm not sure where, though. Four to twelve. Two to six. That is dreadful. I mean, we'll probably get the fish thing at some point and then be able to put in fish around it, so I'm not sure how much it matters, plus we don't actually have the workers for this at the moment anyways. 
So actually, you know what? Maybe we hold off on it then. Let's go into the new year. Okay, we've got a worker who's currently homeless, which is obviously very bad. We've got more land, so we could expand down here, for example, and explore the ruins. Let's delve deeper. We could take 44 gold and run, which actually we don't even have the space for. Let's delve deeper again. We found the following relic, Heartland. Whenever you connect to a new island, your shrine heals to full health. Oh, and that's good. If our shrine gets down, then we can heal it up by just connecting also have that giant piece of land again. Look at how massive it is. Could get down there. That would actually connect us up to the food land, which is, I guess, good. Plus it, you know, technically heals our shrine. That was full health, but that's okay. And our money is full. We're full on gold, which is a bit crazy. I guess because we're full on gold, let's put the fish platform in. Four to 12 here. That way it's like that. We've spent that gold in case, because we are getting a bit each turn. How are we getting a bit each turn though? I, I don't know. Ending our turn. We've got enemies now approaching. And you know what we don't have? a way of defending ourselves. So we're going to need to figure that out sooner rather than later. Let's just do the taxation. It's not going to lower their happiness down now, but it gets us full. So when we go into harvest here, we can buy as much stuff as possible. We're going to get a meteor storm. We need to build seven statues. So let's get Triton. Um, ambushers adjacent to forest tiles. We don't have a lot of forest tiles about. Plus, we don't have any iron. So let's not go for that one. A storehouse plus 50 storage for wood, stone and iron. That is pretty good. A windmill would be quite good. Miracle birth is also quite good. We need something that's going to do a bit of happiness though. So leave that for now. This curse is another big land card. It's very difficult to decide what we really need. Ooh, a great tomb would give us plus 60 maximum faith and it would double our current faith, which I mean, actually would be really, really good because faith is a bit of a problem. Probably need like a church temple type deal. We definitely don't have the stone for this, nor are we getting the cards that are actually going to give us stone. Uh, here we got a statue though. We'll grab that. A mud house. I mean, we do actually need housing, but we also need happiness. I don't really know what the best course of action there is. A filler forest is very good. We'll reroll one more time just to see what we get here. Fishing boat is great. However, we don't have like a good fishing spot yet. I might grab the mercenaries. Uh, attacks and adjacent enemy, 10 attack, strength, 2 health. Cost five gold per year, but I think we can disband them. Let's get that because we do have enemies coming. All right, gonna place a storehouse in. That's just gonna give us just a bit more storage for everything. Enemies are approaching from the north in two turns. I think let's end our turn there because we, we're gonna need the faith to play things. I'm gonna place a big land going this way. We need to get to that stone because we're out of stone, which means I can't even build a windmill at the moment. And we are going to want that. We also do need to get this house in. It gives us less happiness, I know. But we did have one worker who, well, wasn't working because they didn't have a house, which to be honest is fair enough. I wouldn't work if I didn't have a house either, I don't think, um, because it would be very hard just to try to survive in these harsh lands. Let's stick them on the fishing platform because we are losing food per turn and there's at least a couple fish around there. The filler forest, I think I will use just to make sure that you've got a bit of forest around that you can work on. And we'll go on to the next gear. Three boats have approached. They each have two health. We've got the meteor storm, ooh, which is an interesting shape. If I stick it like this, we can get two boats with that. And hopefully it won't set fire to anything because we only hit inside the water. And then we do have a Spartan. So if I stick you in, did that cost a worker though? I thought they cost a worker. Maybe it doesn't. Let's end the turn. Let's see if he attacks. He did. Now, do we... Oh, we can only reposition him, so we actually have to keep him. He's going to cost five gold per year, though. So we definitely need to get to a point where we have more gold. Currently, we just don't have any faith, so... Or gold, really. I guess we go into harvest. Rockfall would be very helpful. A quarry. We need a quarry. We need a quarry. We need rockfall. We have to exit, because there's nothing else we can do with that. Uh, we've got big land, and we've got this, like, slightly smaller land. I don't know where we're headed. Is there other lands? Because these ones are massive. Now, actually, if we went up this way, that's like a very big spot of land there. And go in here. There's going to be enemies here. Yes. Okay. Knew that that was going to happen. We reposition you over here. We end the turn. Is he? He only takes out one guy. The rest of them are leaving. Okay. They're not bothered by us. Can we defend against this? How often can I reposition him? Can I reposition him every turn? I hope so. <laughs> I don't know, though. Oh, there's also big rocks over there. That would be good to get over to. We're having faith problems, though, as you can see. Um, if I had more faith, I could do a meteor storm right now. But I can't because I don't have it. So I guess we just go on to the next year. Oh, I should have repositioned him. Oh, silly goose. 
I keep losing this game and I think I can tell why. I think the issue lies between the chair and the keyboard. That's a thing that's happening. All right, reposition you. Come over here, fight those guys. Hey, you're a sp Oh wait, is that gonna cost me more money again? It is, I think so. Eight damage to enemies adjacent or diagonal statues. If I could place a statue, I don't have any stone though. It's a bit of a problem. Minotaur charge we could use. Oh, they have three health, are you kidding? Uh, we could use the discovery. And then in the discovery, I think we need, I don't know, I might go for the longbow tower. And then we just end our turn. He's gonna do 10 damage. They are getting back in the boat, moving around. Hey, they broke my tree. <laughs> That's rude. That's my tree. All right, a little taxation never hurt anyone or something. I don't have enough anything to do things. We're, our faith is lacking. Oh, I forgot to move the Spartan. Come on. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, fish. We need these statues. Gain one faith for each building on your island. Yes. Although I, what I really need, oh, I just need a lot of stuff. I don't really know. Yep. Oh, a villa. Yes. Oh, it costs iron. We do not have iron. I don't even know how we're going to get iron. That feels ages away, if I'm honest. Okay, he does so much damage, but he only does one hit each turn. This is just taking forever. We found a relic, though. When you end a turn with excess gold, gain that much faith. Well, that seems very good. I need the faith. Okay, we... <laughs> You know what the worst part is? We brought that upon ourselves. You know, we chose that. All right, little taxation. The quarry. We need to get over to this bit of land. If we get over to that bit of land, then we can do more things. Okay, we've got two new followers from over there, which means we now have some unemployed people. <laughs> but we also got some rocks. So we actually have some stone now. And by unemployed, I meant homeless people. We do have someone employed as well though. So let's get them into the farm. No, the fishing platform, because actually gets us food. And we have the one homeless person, which is lowering our happiness further. Nothing I can do about that at the exact moment though. Increase gold by 14 in a single turn by year eight. Oh my gosh, okay. What are the chances that there's enemies on that little tiny bit of land? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Right, let's go for a discovery. I don't know what we're going to discover though. Everything seems not great. We need some sort of home, a townhouse. That's what we need, townhouses. We also need a lot of stone, so we'll have to kind of work on that one. Especially to build these statues, we need a lot of stone. We can afford the windmill now, which I, I mean, it is really good for getting more food. Oh, we've got enemies coming from over here. Let's reposition you over here so that you're ready. I think we'll just place the windmill in. It would be great if we had someone working there. Actually, our food is completely full at the moment. All right, quarry. We've got that, that's good. Get that in here, four to eight stone per turn. We can also do rock falls then around that. We need a house though. There are houses over here. What if we worked our way over to that? Put in some big land. We'll head into harvest. No mud houses, I don't want mud houses. Trading post, amphitheater. Each worker provides 1% 1 1 happiness per turn for each follower in range. Minus 3 gold per turn per work. That's not, that's not it. That's not what we're looking for. A longbow tower would be good. More townhouses. Yes, a chapel. Plus 1 faith per turn for each follower in range. Plus 8 maximum faith. Yes, now we leave. Okay, enemies are on their way. Finally got a house in there that's not making us unhappy. Love that for us. Not currently getting wood per turn though, I have just realized. Which is not great. All right, let's see how we do. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's four boats. Temple would give us plus seven faith per turn. We could save it though and put it like over here. We could put it here. And then we could do something with the land over here to have more houses fit in there. That could work. Do we want another Spartan? It costs five gold per turn. We're currently getting minus one, which is obviously not super great, but then we'd be doing damage. I'm gonna reroll this. Oh, the meteor storm. It costs nine. It's too much. Uh, are we gonna be able to destroy them before they destroy our temple? Uh, yep, but maybe, just barely, if we can we do something about them this turn. Gain a faith for each building on our island. There's not a lot of buildings, but we got 22 faith from that. The Minotaur Charge, though, doesn't cost faith. It costs gold. We don't have gold. Where is... Okay, here's a meteor storm. Let's use that. Is this gonna cause a fire? Yes. It is gonna cause a fire. How do we put out a fire? We don't have any rain. Hopefully it's not close enough to any buildings to cause problems. Let's, let's say that's true and just hope for the best. Uh, maybe we'll refresh once more. I need gold. We need the, that gold card again. Okay, how long is that? <laughs> how long is that fire gonna burn? Hey, the longbow tower is finally here. All right, filler land. I'm just gonna fill in those spots there because they're really annoying. 
expand up to that one. And then the final filler land, I think, can go in over there. Now, uh, get some more fish in the water. Gain one stone for each rock. We don't need rock. Increase gold by year eight. We're not going to get this done. I have no way of increasing gold at the moment. Let's get taxation again. Don't have any amphitheaters. Let's just have this. Gain four stone. For every four stone in your storehouse, gain an iron. Oh, that could be good. Yeah, get that one. We're out of money, though. Uh, the fire is spreading. How do we put out fire? Oh, uh, this is bad. That is not good. I think we're going to... We're not going to make it, are we? This was supposed to be an easy run. The whole plan was an easy run. It's going so badly. Oh, man. Oh, it goes out in the winter, maybe? Okay. Oh, fine. The fire has gone out. That is very good news. Okay, taxation. Oh, we increased the gold by 14 in a single turn before year eight because we taxed the people. Okay, fantastic. I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it. If you say so, we've done it. Uh, for every four stone in your storehouse, gain an iron. Yes, let's play this statue. We'd gain 16 iron then, which could help us build some houses in the future. I like that. There's trees over here, which gives us 18 wood. And I'm happy about that. Don't know what we're going to do about the trees, though. I don't currently have any way of harvesting wood. We seem to be OK, though. Happiness is like our lowest thing. Money is going in the negatives. But we can just tax the people every once in a while, and it's kind of fine. Oh, nobody's working in the temple. But if they did, we'd be getting more faith. Let's take a look. Maybe take someone out of the fishing platform and put them in the temple. Food, we're good. I think that should help. Maybe we're not in the worst shape we've ever seen. All right, enemies are approaching though, from where? Over here. Um, let's move you. Oh, that is kind of in the way. You go over there, let's hope for the best. We can always do some lightning and we have a few other things. Let's save our faith though. Obviously a crossbow tower would be great. The minotaur charge once we see them would be very good. Having more money would also be very good. Okay, let's do a discovery. Maybe this saves us. Fish market is kind of a cool idea. Each worker provides plus one gold for each food generated by fishing platforms in range. That seems very smart. Let's get that, possibly. Okay, we could gain some wood with our faunus. Uh, we don't need wood at the moment, though, so I'm going to leave that. Maybe we ref... No, don't redraw, actually. We need the things. We've got a lot of money. Okay, foragers would be very good. We could do another faunus. If that's how we're going to... Oh, disband. Remove mercenaries in range. And we'd have to stop paying them. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it. Let's gain another Faunus statue, though. And taxation and their longbow tower. We do need some more statues. Uh, what do you do? Gain one gold for each rock on your island, but would remove some of the rocks. Could be okay, because we've got Rockfall. Uh, Triton we haven't even used yet, so let's just keep that. Oh, there's the fish market. Uh, it's going to use up a lot of our money, but I like the idea of it, because it's going to give us money back. If we can get a fish market in, that would be pretty cool. Here is the tower, though, so let's get that in. We are going to need to have to move workers in there, but we don't need to do that until the workers have shown up. Taxation, I think we will do. Gives us some money back. Happiness is, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Right, the enemies are here. Oh my gosh, it's birds. Uh, griffins are attacking. So you're going to attack one of them, and we're going to need to put some workers in here. So let's take a look. I mean, no one's going to be doing a lot of these things at the moment. So all three of you go into there. How much damage do these do? Oh, they have five health. Oh, God. One of them's going to be taken out by the Spartan, which is no problem. Um, but we do have to worry a little bit about that. So Minotaur charged that last guy to do a little bit of damage. Stick these fish in. Also, a Forager would be good. I'm going to stick it up there. I'll have to put workers in there later. We need more people, though. <laughs> it's a little... We're a little low on people. Let's go... Let's refresh this once. Oh, we could put another longbow tower in. That seems like something we don't need to do, but I'm gonna put the fish market in though. Because longbow towers only do one damage per worker, so that's a maximum of three damage. These griffins are going to end up getting further in than we'd like, so I think let's take out all the workers and put them into the longbow tower. So we've got, yeah, that's gonna be doing six damage. Is that enough? That doesn't feel like enough. Uh, we have lightning though. Are they wet? I don't think they're wet. Uh, let's get the middle guy. He did three damage. Could be enough. Let's see how they do. Got him. Oh, we're good. We've done it. We needed two crossbow towers, but we have managed it. Phew. All right, now we need to remanage our workers. So let's get everybody out of the longbow towers. Fish market and fishing platform. That's giving us tons of gold now. We are 
fairly well sorted on the gold. We need to sort out the wood and stone though. Oh, food is actually good. So maybe we, maybe like that. Temple, fish market, nothing in the windmill, but food is fine. We're at plus six at the moment. Quarry, we've got one to get a bit of stone, but actually it says we're getting zero per turn. Why is the quarry, is the quarry not near any stone? Yeah, we've run out of stone. So that isn't going to do anything. So maybe a second person in here. Here, uh, I sure don't need the food. The wood is actually kind of fine as well. Interesting, we'll put them in the research then. We need to figure out the stone problem then. We need more stones. Um, I'm gonna relocate one of these houses. Oh, actually this is when built. That is actually, ta <laughs> I've moved it over here, but that was actually just bad because it makes people more unhappy. Right, rock fall, that would be helpful. We need more rocks around here. I also need more filler land, I think, so that it actually is, there we go. So. It there's more space around it. Okay, we don't need stone at the moment anyways, but for building these statues, we sort of do. And I don't know, we could put the statues around. That used up some trees, but it's good because we've got more trees we can place in. It's not the end of the world. This one also would remove trees. It's the same statue actually. But we just need to get these statues in. Statues, happiness, and then 45 cards. So we need some money. Uh, currently my money is full though. Food is also, like we're just, we're kind of all right. I need some building. So let's head into harvest. We'll get some filler forest. Townhouse would be very good. We'll get the meteor storm, but also get the heavy rain so we can actually put the fire out this time, maybe. We need to have 45 cards, so having more cards would be actually helpful. A catapult would be kind of good to be able to actually like protect ourselves a little bit. Pig land, oh, repair. We might need to do that. 80 storage for wood, stone, and iron doubles your current wood at the Great Workshop. That's not bad. Let's get one of those. The chapel, I don't think we need. Faith is actually doing a lot better. Oh, we're out of money. Ah, it's a shame. Okay. <laughs> we're going to need the taxation card. Good. It came up. Let's get that straight away. <laughs> Otherwise we can't build anything because we're poor. Now, no enemies are currently coming, but you know they're going to. You just know. Gain one gold for each rock on your island. It's going to remove some rocks though, but we do need the statues to go in. So kind of okay with it. We're gonna need to do some sort of rock fall though over there at some point. All right, some more. F oh, there's so many fish in there actually at the moment. <laughs> Let's put a stat. Oh, I don't need that though either. I need, oh, here's a townhouse. A townhouse isn't bad. Get the townhouse going in. The great workshop. This is what we needed. Let's stick that in. Enemies attacking from all sides. Is that cause, is this a wonder? Oh, it's a wonder. Oopsies. My bad, I didn't realize it was a wonder. So we've got enemies coming from here and three enemies coming in our main area here. I've got a catapult we could put in. Maybe we'll stick that in here. People need to work at the catapult though. But I think we can deal with that. Uh, we've got money and we've got things. Taxation is not what we need. Uh, we've got meteor storms as well. Let's end the turn though. Oh my gosh, okay, it's the flying things. There's different flying things. We've got boats over here, which are doing quite a lot. Now, if we put a statue down, potentially we could use this, but they have to be adjacent or diagonal to statues. It's a little tricky, but if you put this here and then plate it, would that work? I don't even need any food. It's actually like crazy because we can get, do all these things to get food, but my food storage is full. I don't know if that's the most helpful thing. There's lightning. Oh, that only does a single target. Okay, go for that then. We can do another Spartan. Let's do a Spartan here. That will help. A Minotaur charge, that guy. Uh, and then we need to move our workers around. So take everybody out of these things and we need to put them into Longbow Tower. I think we need to keep someone in the temple though. I'm gonna need the Faith for next turn. And the Catapult needs people. I don't know how this is going to go. Let's go on to the new year and just hope for the best. Catapult got rid of one. Those guys should also be getting rid of one. Did that Spartan reach? He must have. Okay, they are on the main island though. Oh, they destroyed my catapult. Oh, this is the end of the world. No, <laughs> you hear a deep rumbling beneath the earth. The ground begins to shift. You hear a voice, friendly and familiar yet unwelcome. It seems our little game has come to an end, it says. I think we all knew that it would come to this. Well, better luck next time. With that, the voice is gone. All that is left is the end of the world. Ah, no. <laughs> Shoo, that did not kill them. They are very strong. <laughs> Stronger than I am. Give me another Spartan. Yeah. Um, redraw again. Oh, I can't afford anything. No. Do some damage. Oh, no. They're just coming. <laughs> we never even got to use our god power. Ow. Whoa. What? What was that explosion? What happened? 
<laughs> We've lost everything. Oh, could that be any worse? Holy moly. Okay, heavy rain's not going to help us. A meteor storm could help us. Get rid of those guys. Got rid of one of those guys only. Oh my gosh. Can I just demolish you? Shoo. <laughs> Shoo. I cannot, in fact, demolish them. The longbow tower attack was lured by the sound of the siren, so we had to skip our turn. How unfair is that? No. <laughs> oh, goodness me. What are we even going to do now? I don't know how we get our stuff back. It's all destroyed. This is this is basically as bad as it can get. Ah, we've lost more land. Can you even lose this much land? What even happens when you lose this much land? I've killed that lady. Now what? I need another... I need a meteor storm. I can't afford it. I've got this guy. Get him. The siren's coming and so is the ship. You're our only hope, little Spartan. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That was terrible. We tried our best, but in the end, I built this wonder and brought doom upon myself. So there you have it. We tried. We failed. Goodness me. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> we didn't even level up. That's the worst. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.